first of all, I'd like to start off by saying uh, none of this is intended as financial advice. These are my personal <laughs> views only. Um, from academic research, all investments have inherent risks, so do your research before investing. Yes. Now that that's out of the way, I'd like to start off by asking the audience, how many of you have traded a stock or invested in a stock in the past few years? How about a crypto sample? Okay, I don't know how many of you have, you know, earned or lost money in the markets, but personally, you know, I've lost quite a bit of money <laughs> trading in the past few years, especially in uh, the stock and crypto markets, as you can see by a lot of the market downturn. Why do people lose money in the markets? Well, markets are very volatile, they're very random, and a lot of factors go into influencing market movements. So a uh, stock price, for example, there's a lot of factors that go into changes in stock prices. And there are these events called black swan events, which we will talk about, that significantly impact the value uh, of the markets. And many financial analysts in the current financial industry standard try to model the markets using uh, Greek values. And they try to, for example, look at an option and see what its sensitivity is um, to many of these factors. Uh, but in reality, there are probably a lot more factors than these, and it's very difficult for humans to come up with a very accurate model you know, to forecast and model the markets. That's the current financial industry standard. We use a model called Black-Scholes, for example, that models stock prices in a certain path. And this is very theoretical, but the thing to note is that these models are theoretically sound. They're simple and interpretable, which is a really good thing for uh, Wall Street investors um, who want to understand you know, how their model works and exactly what they're trading on. But the cons uh, of these models is that parametric models where you're assuming how the market moves are sometimes very inaccurate and they're not as precise. So you're essentially trading off complexity and precision uh, for simplicity. And so uh, as a result, a lot of these black swan events occurred. I'm sure many of you remember the 2000 dot com bubble, the 2008 financial crisis, most recently the COVID-19 pandemic. And it leads to situations like these. For example, in 2008, Lehman Brothers and the risk management department didn't do a very good job in hedging a lot of the risks. So I'd like to talk about the end of the Greek era and the rise uh, of AI, known as deep hedging. And so deep hedging emerged uh, very early in JP Morgan, actually, where researchers are doing research on how to use AI to hedge portfolio risks without assuming anything about how the market works. So just giving an AI a bunch of data and telling it to learn directly from the data about how the market works. And so what I wanted to say is AI can model the financial markets really much better than a lot of these traditional stochastic models can. By learning directly from the data, it's very hard to make correct assumptions about the markets. And a lot of these models have really wrong assumptions about how the market works. But in order to train these AI models to do a good job in modeling the markets, a lot of data is necessary. Traditionally, investors use Monte Carlo simulations, which assume, again, a lot of the parameters about how the market moves and how the market works. On the right, you see, uh, as part of my academic research at MIT, using generative adversarial networks, a form of generative AI, to do the same thing, simulates uh, stock price paths in a similar manner. Now, looking at these visually, you might not instantly be able to tell the difference between the two, but essentially an AI can pick up a lot of the patterns within time series data that humans cannot. And so the AI has learned by itself how uh, stock prices move, the patterns in which it moves, without explicitly telling it a model of how it works. And so generative AI is really a tool to help other AI learn, especially in modeling the markets, which in finance, there's a very limited amount of data that's available, and you need a lot of data in order to make accurate decisions. And this is a framework of how to use uh, AI and generative AI to build a robust hedging framework uh, in order to protect your investments. And some of these results right here show that AI really can learn how the market moves much better than a lot of these traditional models can and has learned to reduce volatility and risk in your portfolio much better than traditional models. Just a brief comparison between AI hedging and traditional hedging. AI is much more robust, it's dynamic, it adapts to markets very quickly, and it can learn to predict when black swan events 
might even be able to happen by looking at signs. For example, looking at news reports, looking at economic cycles, and other types of alternative data that investors commonly use. The main takeaway is that AI can really replace humans in this hedging process and be able to dynamically and automated way to make trade decisions and hedge your investments. I think a, a lot of these AI will eventually take over the financial markets in the near future. And I'm very confident, I see a bright future in AI within finance of taking over a lot of these investment processes in uh, portfolio optimization in order to reduce as much risk as possible. And finance, if you think about it, really is an optimization problem. And AI is very well suited um, to do that task. The final takeaway is the economic and geopolitical circumstances are very uncertain, they're rapidly changing, and the next black swan event can happen any moment, and, you know, just similar to COVID-19 or 2008. And it's important that we're able to hedge the risks that come with that in order to protect the value in all our investments. I urge the audience to have more faith, put more trust within robo-advisors. Even though they're not as interpretable sometimes, they know how to get the job done, they know how to model markets, and they know how to make the correct investment decisions um, for your portfolio. So thank you for coming to my TED Talk.